Hey there everybody and welcome back to the channel. You're watching a Ritter Bit Will Do. And tonight I've got a little project going on. I'm out here in the garage. I've got the heaters going and uh, I got some back blade work to do, okay? Uh, not too long ago I had a, a commenter ask me if I had a poly edge or a rubber edge for my back blade. <laughs> well, I do. I just don't have it on yet. So tonight we're going to put that on. I'm going to show you how that works because it's kind of a, a unique system that I kind of came up with um, and I'm going to tell you about it. Stick around. First thing we're going to do is we're going to shut off this little space heater so you guys don't have to hear the whistling noise of that. Let's unplug that thing. Set that off to the side. I came out here about an hour ago and I uh, plugged in some space heaters just so I wouldn't have to work in the cold, the frigid cold. The uh, see, I got one. I got one here too. Although that one seems to be a little bit quieter, we're not going to have it bother us. Um, what I do also have is this buddy heater. And right now it's on low, but we're going to switch this up to high now that we turned the space heaters off. As you can see, I've got this uh, space heater hooked up to a 20 pound tank and uh, it's been doing really well. It's been keeping the garage nice and toasty. Uh, it really, you know, with the three heaters, the two space heaters and then the buddy heater, it seems to take the chill off in this garage pretty nicely. I'm pretty happy with it. But anyway, let's get to this back blade. Okay, somebody asked me if I had a rubber cutting edge for this, and I do, I have one, and I've used it before. Uh, in fact, I've used it for two seasons, I believe, and uh, I just haven't, I haven't put it on yet this year. So that's what we're gonna do. I'm gonna show you how this works. I'm gonna need to get my impact, uh, impact wrench out. We're gonna take these bolts off. We're gonna lose that steel cutting edge, and I'll show you what I'm gonna replace it with. Some of you have been around long enough, uh, you probably know, uh, but this is kind of a unique thing. So if you're thinking of adding a rubber cutting edge to your back blade, I might have just the solution for you. So <laughs> it might be worth the watch, who knows? When you use a back blade, uh, any threads that are sticking out eventually may get worn. And as you can see right here, this one's got worn. So I'm having to use the vice grips on the other side of the bolt just to hold it in place and pull it out. No big deal. Um, I'll be able to save them and reuse them, but it's just kind of one of those things. All right, we've got the uh, the steel cutting edge off, and this was the side. It's a reversible cutting edge, so I could turn it around if I wanted to, but this is the side that's been riding on the concrete and the asphalt, and as you can see, these little metal shavings here, um, I guess it's they're like a burr, right? You would call it a burr if you were sharpening a knife. Well, these parts need to be uh, taken off of there. I'll grind those off later, but uh, before I do that, I'm going to get the... I'm going to get the rubber cutting edge put on this blade, and I'm going to show you how I'm going to do that. All right, guys, what I have here are two pieces of quarter-inch plate with holes drilled in it to match the plow. And what I will do is, and I've got my rubber cutting edge here too, what I will do is I will put these two pieces of plate together with this rubber cutting edge in between it, like sandwiching it. All right, and the only thing that's gonna hold it in there is the force of the bolt squeezing this plate together so it'll be held in there by friction, uh, which has worked really well for me. However, it's not perfect. Um, it's not perfect because once in a while, 
the end of the rubber cutting edge will start to come out of there and I'll have to go in there and retighten it. So what I'm going to try this year is I'm going to try and score a groove uh, down the edge of this cutting edge with a with my cutting wheel on my grinder and we're going to see um, maybe that will help just kind of that, that little extra groove holding that in there. It might work, it might not, but I think it's worth a try. So that's the plan. And uh, then we'll get this thing installed. I don't know if that's going to work, but it might help. Uh, all I did is I just kind of put in some grooves to hopefully kind of maximize some more friction for that uh, rubber cutting edge. And I, I don't know, it might work, it might not. We'll see. So we'll see what happens. Just a couple little grooves there to keep it from sliding in. It'll have to be uh, have to be field tested before we have any definitive answers. Okay, I had to go into my toolbox and get some uh, different different hardware here because, because, because I remembered <clears throat> I don't reuse these because these are tapered and uh, they're tapered on that on the original cutting edge. Um, however, it doesn't work for the flat piece of quarter inch that I'm going to sandwich that rubber cutting edge in. So. We're going to use this instead. Now, this is grade 8 stuff. This is pretty much as strong as you can get uh, from the hardware store anyway. So we're going to use some large washers and we're going to just torque the crap right out of these things and hopefully that rubber cutting edge is going to stay where it needs to. So let's give that a shot. Like this. Okay. Okay, this rubber cutting edge is is nothing more than an uh, a, they call it a stall mat. And what it's used for is for uh horses to step on in their uh and they're pens, I guess. In the barn, it's just, I guess it's easier on their hooves. So it's a stall mat, it's made of rubber. Um, yeah, it works Works really, really well. In fact, I bought a six by four piece of this and I cut this part off and I cut a little bit more off too, I believe. And the rest of it fits in the back of my truck and it works for a great bed liner. So yeah, that's what I did. It is, it is. I need a bigger garage. Every, every time I try to do something, I've got to move 10 different things to make room for what I want to do. Oh, it's frustrating. Oh man, I know, I don't, there's a lot of people worse off than me. Goodness, I am I'm thankful for what I got. But, man, if I had a bigger garage, whew. Another plug for Harbor Freight. This is a six inch C-clamp. I think it was like four dollars at Harbor Freight. That's a pretty good deal, and it, it seems to hold up well. I have two of them. I'm really happy with it. So, C clamps, Harbor Freight. They got lots of good clamping stuff, right?
And there we have it. This project turned out pretty good. We've got the rubber cutting edge back installed. Hopefully those grooves that I cut in the metal plates will help keep that rubber cutting edge in there a little bit better. Not that it was a major problem before. It, the thing hardly ever fell out, but it did once or twice and I had to fix it. So hopefully we've solved that problem and we are going to get back to plowing some snow soon. I think there's some snow in the forecast. So the next time you see a plowing video, it will be with this rubber cutting edge. And you guys can tell me if you see a difference or not. I don't, I don't know if there's going to be much of a difference. I think that the rubber cutting edge does a little better job. But, you know, you guys tell me. Hey, hope you all have a Merry Christmas. I don't know if I'm going to get another video out before then. So if I don't, Merry Christmas to everybody. I wish you all the best to you and your families. And I hope you're on the nice list. <laughs> I hope I'm on the nice list. Give this video a like, if you will. I'd really appreciate that. And until next time, keep on tractoring and God bless.